Hello, my name's Natasha Ann Kelleher. I'm a breast cancer survivor and I wrote this poem um, to explain to people the journey that you go through when you have to go through cancer. And also wanted to thank all the breast cancer charities, the nurses, the doctors, and everyone else who helps with your journey, um, especially for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so it's called Can Survive. There is a rogue cell called C that seems to be impossible to cure, lingering around for centuries, its intentions anything but pure. Nor its targets out of reach or in sedentary, yet no matter how we try to alter its course, that invades and divides good cells to inflammatory. Holding its target with predatory force, like an unforgiving military army, it may just start in one place, the body it can often overwhelm, then gradually spreads its way calmly. No one could suspect its presence or why it's at your helm. That is why it needs to be detected early, caught while it's on its marching errant way, with the right treatment to crucially help to deter its sometimes annihilating sway. Brutal, a deadly threat, surging on relentlessly like a fatal weapon, compromising your immunity system's defence, stomping through your health and life, allocating to a shambling, uncontrollable feeling that suddenly your life has taken on, an entirely different and scarily unknown meaning, juddering your life as it was to a stuttering, unwished and unwanted stop. The disease's impact invading body and mind with terror as the situation painfully, nerve-wrackingly, gradually, heart stomachly unfolds. You feel like you are disappearing like Alice in Wonderland down a rabbit hole into an unknown place of nightmares, of why, of, of whys, ifs, hows and dreaded outcomes, making you feel so vulnerable and iller, a boat on rapids without its tiller. Despite the best intentions of empathy from family and friends, it fades eventually. Though needed and appreciated, you feel more lost and isolated and at sea than you ever thought was possible. In this ever-changing challenge, its force never negated. Words can soothe, but not heal you or dispel your fear away. It is the loneliest task in life to try and not seem frightened, to look and sound ever brave in the tsunami of cancer's rage. So you battle on valiantly as one can only do, for what is the only alternative, only to leave all around you feeling helpless and blue. So you forge on quietly while friends sometimes disappear. Remind yourself do not bluster, using any remaining strength you can intermittently muster, so to avoid them sometimes feeling flustered not knowing what to do or say, hoping that you can, yourself can act and sound normal. Then people around you don't seem uneasy when they find out you are one of the inflicted ones. One out of two people predicted will be a cancer statistic along with you. In turn, this makes you feel like you cannot go on even for another hour, let alone another day. You feel like you want to drop your guard Yet like a prisoner, you are bound to accept this sentence and take up the cause to fight with everything you have in every positive way. As the shadow of cancer never fades, it lies lurking like a burglar ready to rob. The time you have, believe you have left, as you know in your heart that even in remission, this is a challenge that will last to the end of your days. Yet, somehow you learn to adjust and carry on, regardless of your physical state. As the meaning of everything has become to you so much more clear, it is the precious gift of life we cling on to, knowing its value of friends and family, doctors, nurses and hospital staff that steer you through the gateway to help you try and forget your daily inner fear. Now, we love, revere and cherish them so acutely as they are your sun, moon, the air and the stars, however long you can spend with them. 
will be full of life, love and poignant memories that can never, ever be forgotten or marred.